We all think we know the fundamentals, but actually there are still a lot of things we are getting wrong. Today we're going to be meeting up with PJ professional Jack Backhouse, who's going to be taking us through the stance, how we should be standing properly to the golf ball and how it varies for different clubs in the back. So everything in golf kind of really comes from the setup. So how can people really work on getting that stance and kind of posture good over the ball? What you have to think about with each club, you have a different setup. So there's no like one size fits all approach with this, you know, with the short irons, for example. Um, so I've got a nine iron here. My, my stance is going to be fairly narrow, maybe just inside shoulder width or just that shoulder width. I have the ball sort of very central in my stance. I'm stood quite tall to the ball. And then if I went to the driver, so with the driver, um, the, the setup is completely different. So it's going to be much wider. The ball's going to be in a different position. It's going to be much more sort of up at the left foot. But with the driver, because we're not trying to hit down and take a divot, we, we generally have a little bit of spine tilt to the right to help promote that sort of shallow angle of approach. There's, what you can't really tell someone is, this is how you stand and that's it. It's very specific to the shot you're trying to play, where you are on the course and really what you're trying to achieve. So if we're taking a seven iron, that's obviously like something in the middle of the set, probably a pretty standard iron that people are going to hit a lot. What would be some good reference points for them to kind of work on? So posture is really important because if you don't stand to the ball properly, it's very hard to make like an athletic swing. Certainly something that I think people get wrong is they stand to it and they sort of try and stand very athletic. They like arch the back and sort of squat the knees where what I find is when people do that, they A, move a lot worse and they're probably at higher risk to injury. So my ideal posture, or certainly how I think 90%, well, 99% of golfers should stand to it is much taller. So the checkpoints I sort of work off is, what the first thing I'm looking at is like, where's your balance point? So I draw a line down from like the armpit, which should be somewhere over the middle of the foot, because that means that I'm grounded, I'm centered, and I'm in balance. And then the other thing that I like to look at is I draw a line down sort of from your backside. And I like that line to be sort of within two inches, two or three inches of the heel, because what that allows me to do is make, uh, well, first of all, my arms are hanging straight down, so I'm not reaching for it and I'm definitely not too close. And from here, it, I'm sort of, I'm very relaxed over the ball. I'm not tense. There's no tension in my legs or my back. From there, I can make a sort of a big, a big turn with loads of freedom to make a big swing and hit the ball further. So really it's about having lots of things neutral. You don't really want someone excessively leaning kind of back or excessively being too far forward because that's going to affect kind of how they move the absolutely, ball. Forward. Absolutely right. So, you know, if you, if you stand way too far forwards, what we see a lot of golfers do is, or if you're out of position at address, generally what we see is you will try and find balance in the swing. So if I stand forwards, I might swing back and then stand up. Or if I stand too tall, I might somehow try and like move back. We're always looking for that neutral position because to hit the ball properly. So ideally, we just want to start there. Why not just start there? So again, you know, I've got my backside sort of over the over the heels. I've got my armpits more over the middle of my foot, and I'm in a more of a like a a classic posture, like Hogan and Nelson and Sneed and that, where. I think what most golfers do, or certainly when they're learning, is they stand in this sort of super tense, athletic looking posture, which might look a lot better, but actually my back's really tense and I, I definitely can't move as well. And for me, it's all about moving well. 